Hey guys, this is Chris Brigani from Brigani Coins and Collectibles, New York City. Today we have a really cool uh, Roberto Clemente rookie sign photo. Roberto Clemente, Hall of Famer, uh, all of his uh, autographs, all of his memorabilia, his baseball cards are very collectible. Um, so let's get right to it. So like I said, this is a rookie photo of uh, Clemente. Now this is a postcard actually, and it was issued 1955, his rookie era. Um, now what's kind of cool about this is they kept issuing this uh, same postcard. So although it was he was a rookie in 1955, I've seen them postmarked actually dated 56 and 57, but it's in fact um, a rookie era uh, or a rookie photo. Um, but real quick, I want to show you some other stuff here as well. This is his uh, rookie card in 1955. Um, it's graded here three on scale of 10, obviously. So it's a rookie card, something like this, very collectible, but it's not in the highest grade. So you're on value wise here, you're looking about 900 to $1,000 uh, retail. So you'll notice here next to it, this is his second year card. And what you'll notice is that it's actually the exact same uh, photo. So the image is exactly the same as the 55. So kind of like I was saying with the photo, they used, they kept issuing the same um, pictures back then. So I, it was probably a little bit of ease of tops than who's manufacturing them just to use the same one instead of generating a new photo. Um, so this one here, the 56, not as desirable as a rookie card. However, if you notice the grade, it's uh, near mint to mint. 8 out of 10, which is very high grade. Something like this is two to $3,000 uh, value-wise. <clears throat> so uh, really cool stuff. If Now, if you had the rookie card in the same grade of an 8, you're talking $30,000 easily. Uh, just a super rare card uh, in high grade, and like I said, very, very collectible. Now, not all Clemente baseball cards are valuable or that valuable they're still collectible now here we have again uh this one is 63 uh tops and it's graded three out of ten something like this can be had for about 50 to 60 uh yeah 50 to 60 dollars for something like this not not terribly valuable and it's a great filler for either a clemente fan or just someone putting together a set and it won't break uh break the bank now, <clears throat> varying a little bit, going back to autographs, here we have a signed baseball by uh, Roberto Clemente. Um, you'll notice his handwriting. It's uh, pretty interesting. It's very hard to read. If you don't know who it is right away, you might, you might not even be able to read it, or you might say, you know, I have to look it up. But Roberto Clemente, very, um, very cool signature. He generally signed on the side panel here versus the sweet spot. Um, for whatever reason, they're just general, not always, but most of the time they're always on the sweet spot. And that's a real nice signature there. Uh, that's graded actually 8 out of 10 uh, by PSA. Now something, and it's official uh, baseball, official National League as it should be. Now something like this, a single sign baseball in this high grade is probably worth about twenty to $30,000. Um, in fact, the highest graded one, on, but it was signed on the sweet spot, sold for $38,000 in auction. Um, so this is a not not quite as good. Now this is the kicker. Unfortunately, I'm gonna spin this around here. It's signed by someone else. Now that drastically reduces the value. It's uh, his teammate Maury Wills, so it makes sense. You know he signed it too. But collectors want single signed. If you ever hear that term single signed, they always prefer. That's how it's collected. They always prefer a single sign, just one one signer on there. It's probably one of the only businesses where more is less. So more signatures is less value, believe it or not. So because he has <clears throat> more he wills on there, it goes from a $25,000 baseball to about $10,000, um, dollars eight to 10000 because of that. So if you w want a mint condition uh, Roberto Clemente, but you, you can't afford the $25,000 model, this is a great alternative. Um, so I want to go back to the photo because I, I really like that piece. So again, it's a 55, a 1955 uh, rookie photo, black and white, and it's, uh, it's on a postcard actually. Um, so the back of it, you know, it, it has, it's stamped, it's dated, postmarked. Um, anything you can get <clears throat> rookie signed, personally, I think that's, th that's the best. Um, Afterward, after their rookies, their signatures always change, and I've talked about that in videos before. 
So anytime you can get rookie era, era signature, it's always more desirable. The signature is a little different. It's always, or generally, it's a little bigger. It's a little more legible. Um, although, again, Clemente, even though he's got a nice long signature, uh, you might not recognize it right away. So that's um, my favorite piece here. And it's not the most expensive either. So something like this, because it's rookie, is about five to $7,000. If it was a photo from, let's say, the 60s, it would probably be about three to five thousand. So anything rookie era always a uh, little more valuable. So just a little bit of history about Roberto Clemente. If you don't know, the reason why it's his signature is so valuable because you'd say, okay, a lot of guys played in the uh, 50s, 60s, and 70s, but their stuff isn't as expensive. Well, that's because if you don't know, Roberto Clemente died in 1972. Um, it was actually New Year's Eve of 1972, and that season he just collected his 3,000th hit, 3,000th hit. It was his uh, 18th season in baseball. So he had, he was towards the end of his career, but he passed away. Um, he, Roberto Clemente was uh, er, always known for giving back to the community and he's, he came from Puerto Rico. And in 1972, New Year's Eve, that's when he, when, uh, that's when he died. What happened was he, there was an earthquake in Nicaragua and he was sending supplies to all the earthquake victims because he's just a, a, a he was a really good world person. And what happened was the first shipments of the first car cargo, um, actually air, air shipments, the cargo planes, once they re, um, arrived in Nicaragua, they were stolen. And the people that were stealing them were, you know, they're they're profiting off off of an earthquakes or off of victims. So they would steal the stuff then resell them. Um, and he would, and then he would find out about it. So finally, after two or three of these uh, cargo ships were stolen, he said, "You know, I'm going to go myself, and I'm going to deliver this because I, th these need to, these uh, supplies need to get to the victims." So, <clears throat> unfortunately, shortly after takeoff, the plane um, crashed in right off uh, the, the waters of Puerto Rico, his uh, home. Uh, that's where he's from, Puerto Rico. And in 1972, New Year's Eve, he passed away. Uh, he was such an incredible player that baseball waived the five-year waiting period to induct him to the Hall of Fame, and he was inducted in 1973, um, you know, obviously because the tragedy, tragedy, and he passed away, so they waived the five-year waiting period. Uh, so not only is Clemente one of the best players, the 3,000 Hit Club member, Hall of Famer, but he's also, you know, a great person. He gave back, and he was always always giving uh, supplies to people in need. Oh, so this was, it was a, a tragedy that he passed. Um, so not only is it collectible because baseball fans want him, but historians or historical collectors uh, really love anything Roberto Clemente. Um, really cool items. Again, I personally love the photo because it's rookie era, but anytime you can get your hands on anything Roberto Clemente, uh, especially autographed, it's uh, gonna be very valuable. You don't always need to break the bank. Like I said, this is just a $50 card here, but um, getting something rare and special, uh, we always kind of cl collect this stuff and have this stuff in our inventory. So come on by to our shop, uh, Brigandi Coins and Collectibles, New York City. We're at 57th Street and Park Avenue. We always have stuff like this <clears throat> um, in our inventory, and it's always changing too. So for example, this just sold. Uh, this Clemente ball just came in. Um, we've had these cards here for a couple weeks already, and we're actually getting a single sign baseball um, coming in. It's just going through authentication right now. So <clears throat> we always have new stuff coming through the door, leaving the door. So come on by anytime, check it out. I really hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions about uh, Roberto Clemente or any uh, topics you'd like us to talk about, memorabilia wise, just shoot us an email, chris at brigandicoin.com, or comment below. Uh, thanks again, and I really hope you enjoy the video.